Byzantine Falcon here, and I am doing a broadcast today with the Beasts of War, specifically the Tier 8 uh, German and American tanks, the Scorpion, the Panzer 58 Mutz, and the M46 KR. I think it's a Tiger Patton. So, um, a couple days ago, a buddy of mine, Beast Grub, was like, hey, tell me about the Beasts of War, and I'm like, I didn't even know they were coming out. Um, really hadn't been paying much attention to the announcements and all that, so I started looking at videos. Uh, these are all three tanks. I believe all three of them are available on PC. I know the Scorpion and the Mutts are. I'm not sure about the KR. But I uh, started watching videos, you know, getting, getting kind of a review, and the more I watched them, the more I thought, hey, this is a pretty good opportunity to do something a little different. I've never done a uh, buy the tanks as soon as they come out, you know, do a review type thing. I imagine quite a few people are going to be waiting to see how they play before they spend any money on it. So I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, do a broadcast on Twitch and then to cut that broadcast down and throw it onto YouTube. Let people take a look at it. So anyway, like I said, uh, we got three tanks here. I'm going to kind of do an overview of them and get my initial impression. Now I can't tell you what they do because I just bought them. So let's go into it. Um, this is the one I was the most excited about. Uh, I'm a tall Scorpion G. So it looks like a Panther chassis with a damn big gun. Uh, supposedly this thing plays very similarly to the, uh, the Borsig, the Roomba, the Tier 8 TD from Germany, though it's a lot faster. So let's take a look at some of the details. Alright. Horsepower is good. Power ratio is not too bad. Forward speed, that's that's fairly impressive. Um, yeah, I'm not going to... I mean, you can look at these stats. I look at these on tanks before, and I've been somewhat unimpressed in games and other games where uh, tanks have performed really good, but the stats kind of suggest it otherwise. So I'm not going to just list them all down here. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that are doing that or have done that already, but let's take a look at it at the very least. Uh, Reload time, not terrible. Aim time's pretty good. The uh, elevation and depression aren't terribly bad either, and that range is pretty good. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of damage this thing does. Supposedly it's a pretty high alpha. Uh, rotation speed, view range, could be a little better. Radio range pretty standard for the tier, and I only have the one shell, so let's fix that. stats. Whew. Better velocity on the ABCR. Uh, way better, way better pin as you would expect. That damage though, man, a high roll, that is, uh, that is gonna make for a bad day on somebody. Not, eh, I think I'll, I'll stick with three, three high X. I rarely fire them out of TDs. Usually, especially high tier TDs, if I'm gonna fire a shot, it's gonna be AP or ABCR. Um, the reload time just isn't worth the hassle when it comes to loading HE unless I absolutely cannot penetrate something, but usually that's not the case. So, ammo looks like it's pretty centrally located. Hopefully I don't get ammo racked much. Back, that's nice. The forward, forward facing engines, the ones that are in the front always kind of screw me up. And crew location's pretty central. So, armor, uh, none to speak of for the tier sure, so don't get shot, though that slope on the front might help a little, especially using the gun depression, though the reviews I was watching said the gun depression is better along the sides than the front and rear, so it's kind of a, you know, creep out, fire, creep back, so we'll see. Anyway, for equipment, I'm going to load my standard stuff here. Um, I don't think it needs a gun lane drive. Let's let's look at the math there. I'm curious. So because I'm lazy and my head hurts, I am going to pull up 
calculator because I don't math good this late at night. So, 60 divided by 4.92. So I'm getting a show off every 12.2 seconds. Aim time 2.10. I do not need a gun lane drive. Yeah, I should have known that. <laughs> Alright. Um, no vents because it's open topped. I'm tempted to take optics, but I don't know that I'm going to need them. And ammo rack. You know, I'm just going to stick with the gun, uh, the gun rammer for now. Supplies. Another one where I'm tempted to tempted to run chocolate, but I don't think I'm going to. Not yet, anyway. I got to see how well how well this thing performs. Uh, standard large repair, first aid, and fire extinguisher. And this one is pretty much ready to go. And, alright, so next one we got, let's look at the mutts. Now, I know virtually nothing about this one. I didn't watch many reviews. Um, I'm really just going on, on what they were talking about. Uh, I don't know that I've played too many German mediums at this tier. In fact, I don't think I've played any at this tier, to be honest. So, let's fix that ammo problem first. Chunks of the engine in the front and mostly in the left side. Something to pay attention to. Top speed's pretty good. That's what we got here. Elevation and depression is really good. That's uh, that's a little surprising. Right. Range pretty standard seems like. Radio range a little short. Ammo. Again, uh, higher velocity on the APCR. Penetration is way boosted on the APCR. Damage is average, I would say. Uh, again, I don't think I'm going to be firing too many of those HEs. That that boost in damage just doesn't look worth it. And there's the turret. Center facing driver, I'm guessing. Armor wise, tiny little band of. Uh, red and mostly yellows and greens otherwise, so not terribly armored. The slope looks nice though, and the rear is pretty, pretty lightly armored. Yeah, that turret, well, I'm not going to want to brawl much with it. I'm going to see how well the slope on the turret uh, does to protect it, though that, that tiny spot up there, those are going to be, those are going to be annoying, I think. Same as that giant commander's hatch. Both of them. Wow. All right. So put it there. Pretty standard. I think I'm gonna throw a gun lane drive vents. And V stab would be my last one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So right on there. I imagine I'm really moving with it. Worst comes to worst, I can take it off and throw something else on. Now the paint job. Standard green, that the bear looks kind of nice. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, from what I'm reading, this was a, I think a Swiss or a after post-World War II design. But uh, yeah, looks kind of neat. All right, and then moving on to the third one, the M36 Patton. ammo for you to look at the stats. Alright. Top speed's a little lacking compared to the other ones. For sure. A little slower. This power's pretty good. I think I'm gonna get quite a bit of gun damage by doing any kind of thing. Hold down and they're shooting that turret, they're probably gonna damage the gun. Elevation, depression, average. View range pretty decent. Reload and aiming time. Solid. Uh, range. Standard. 
This one range is great. This one's going to be, I believe, scouting a bit. And ammo. Uh, same deal. Let's see. Penetration is, is better, obviously, for APCR. So is the shell velocity. But I don't think it's significant. That little extra bump you get in here. I think I'm going to be able to do some work with just the standard AP shells. And that's a fair boost with the uh, the HE. Crew location. Crew of five, huh? Alright, armor. Well, okay. I take that back about the gun getting damaged. Looks like that forward frozen armor on the on the mantle it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh slope's decent. I don't know. I'm not gonna want to get shot in the side, obviously, but you're medium. You never do. That slope is a little steeper on the front. Looks like it's it's kind of flat, especially if I'm not angled back a little. If I angle back, they hit the lower plate and go right through, but the top might bounce. Though that uh, big green spot where the gun port is is going to be a pain. That's a obvious weak point. Uh, commander hatch a little low, but it's still fairly weak. All right then, quit this one. Be torn between optics and a vertical stabilizer. I think I'm gonna hold off on which one I get based on how well it plays. Let's get right into it with the, the scorpion. Geschichte! 
Ace tanker, but it is the first day. I think it's the only reason I ended up with that, that it's not I think what this tank is capable of at all. No. Hmm. And it's tier 10. Awesome.
Um, yeah, I played the scorpion earlier. I can, uh, I can definitely run it again, though. Picked up my ace tanker back. It's, it's first day. Um, not really running ace tankers, but I figured at that point I have a handle on it enough to, to move on. Alright. Um, wow. <laughs> Top of the board in a 10 game. That is, uh, in of itself, so when I run eights, I have a hell of a time playing, playing tens, I'm not sure. All right, all right, all right, what do we got here? High tier, that's good. No, so we've got one on the team. I think we on there. I don't see any on the other side. So, let's see if we can figure out where he is let you look at it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Pretty much a reskin. We've got enemies incoming. Either take them out or capture their base. Let's go. Enemies 
for effort. to see my half-ass tanking from my point of view. No worries, man. I've been at it for like, shit, damn near three hours now. That's it. Hey, got that ace tanker badge, though. Gotta love first day tanks. Though, that was a fairly decent game, all in all.